Hello, it's time for another bit of chaos from our sim selves. If you have made your sim self, this is the last one that I am pre-recording. Start a club where they paint for you. Um, what? We just did that one. We can't get the same one twice in a row. How do we have hundreds of options or at least a hundred options on here? And we got that one. Anyway, if you've made a sim self, I will be <gasps> flirt with everyone. Flirt with everyone you talk to. Fantastic. Okay, let's see who's going to be doing that. I cannot wait to see who I get to play today. All right. It needs to be somebody that I haven't played. I know I really didn't say that before, but oh, it looks like it's going to be Lynn. I also think that we need to go out of the house. Like Lynn is a teenager, which means, oh, I was supposed to go to school with cats yesterday. I just realized. But that means that I get to go to school with Lynn today. So Lynn is hungry and tired. So I'm going to let her keep sleeping actually for a little while. Okay, so Lynn has had a little bit of sleep. We're going to have her come in here and take a shower. What is wrong with her? Junk food fiend lifestyle. She's craving sweets because of it. Do we have any food? No. So that's fine. She can actually come in here and have some. She can make this halo 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 stuff. I'm not sure what it is, but you don't need a stove to do it. So we don't have to worry about a fire. All right, so she's hungry, and then she's going to need to eat. I mean, to uh, go back to sleep. She wants to earn a $1,000 and finish a painting. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Demi hates being held. We can go in here and finish a painting. Oh, no, she can't. She's too, um, she feels too bad. Okay, what I'm going to do, since this was painted, I, why can't I pick it up? I want to put it in her inventory. So I'm going to tell Cats to come put that in her inventory and then she can do whatever she wants to do after that. She's in charge of herself. But at least that way she, um, we can sell that next time we're playing as Cats and we'll remember. So, oh gosh. Katie said she texted somebody. They didn't text back. Pick a number one to two. It's one. Yeah, maybe they missed the first one, says Allie, of course. <laughs> so far they ask Allie and then they've asked Goose one question. This is poor quality. Um, put that away when you're done. We didn't add anybody else to the household, but somehow we now have three rows of people instead of just two. Okay, Lynn's bed is in the teen room, which is over here. And I'm pretty sure that's her bed. Yes, it is. So let's go back to sleep. Then she didn't like the food she made after she was mad about not eating junk food. Now she's happy about eating the junk food. Heather made some pepperoni pizza roll-ups. Here's Jessica. I feel like we haven't seen her at all. Let me see how she's doing. Oh, she seems to be exactly the same as Lynn. And Katz is worried about her face. And Jude has advised her not to worry. All right, Lynn, what are we doing? We're putting away the extra of that. Look at her with her little boots on and her cute shorts and tank top. Let's go back upstairs and go to sleep. Yes, till it's time to get up for school, which it almost is. All right, great. There we go. Okay, I'm probably just going to let her sleep. Maybe we could. She doesn't even own any homework. Trace has now had his first blowout. I've got to get homework for the kids. Okay, there we go. So when Lynn wakes up, she's going to do her homework, in, unless she does not have time, in which case we'll just go to school. <gasps> Lindsay is dying. No, no, not from starvation. Dang it. I knew that was going to happen because of the dang glitch that was on here. See? No, she's fine. She's actually not dying. Oh, my gosh. Lynn, get up and let's come down here and see if we can plead with Grim. Okay, Lindsay, I will move Lindsay out without actually, um, I mean, I'll bring her back. We won't kill her. No, you're not doing tummy time. You're coming down here to plead for Lindsay. Come on, Lynn. Okay, I'm not going to three times speed at all because I know everybody says that I glitch things out when I do that. And by everybody, I mean Nikki. So I'm not going to touch it. Here comes Lynn. Come on, Lynn. All right, Lynn. She's like, please, we're meeting so many people in school today. Did he say yes? Did he say yes? 
He said yes. Oh my goodness. Lindsay has been brought back to life. Yay, Lynn. Okay, I'm still not going to fast forward. And I can't do anything with Grim. Oh my gosh. Everybody, calm down. Dang, everybody in this house is crying. Look how happy Lynn is about bringing her back. Here comes Nikki being so super stinky but carrying one of her kids. Nikki's like, I'm a good mom even when somebody's dead. We still can't click on Grim for anything? Okay, that is totally fine. We are going upstairs to go back to sleep. She's like, that's fine. Oh, we only have an hour. That's fine. Just come up here and nap for an hour and then we'll go to school. No, no, no! A newbie! Okay, why is it yellow? It's doing the same thing to a newbie? Okay, this is not going to be happening. Okay, hers is red. She needs to handle herself. Hers is yellow, but she needs to handle herself. She's a teenager. It's all the teenagers. That's what it is. There is a glitch, and it is the teenagers. Okay, all. how did that go down so much? I literally filled it up right before she died, or right after she died. Lynn, get down here. It says plead for Lindsay. We need to plead for a newbie. Is that a thing we can do now? Um, maybe if we just plead in general. It still says plead for Lindsay, which is what we're going to do, but Grim. Come on, Grim. One more time. Another teenager. <laughs> Please don't let this teenager die. Uh, that did not look like a yes. Now can we plead for... See, we're still trying to plead for Lindsay, though, and this is a newbie. Lindsay is truly gone? Okay, but that was not Lindsay. Someone has already pleaded. Let me see. If I click on somebody else. Okay, not a baby. But if I click on somebody else. It just keeps saying Lindsay. Do they not know that a newbie is a different person from Lindsay? Okay, well, here's Lindsay. Alive and well. And a newbie. Oh my gosh, I can't be down there. A newbie's on the floor with the baby. I'm going to do my best to bring. Or I'm just going to cheat a newbie back with us. Because she should not have died. That was a glitch. If somebody is repairing something. And they get electrocuted and they die. Or if somebody dies from the mold infestation. That we apparently have going on. That's different to me. Than somebody dying because there's a glitch. With my teenagers being able to know that they're hungry. Like I don't understand that. Also it asked us the first day. If we wanted to go to school. And now it's not asking about following to school. The message is on. That's why I didn't go to school with whoever. Okay, well, Lynn is going to go to school. Oh, my gosh. Our sweet baby Trace in the middle of all of this. He is so disgusting. Let me see if he can get a bubble bath from anybody. Um, I don't know who's doing the best. Also, all the teenagers are gone to school. Let's see if Jacqueline can give him one. I don't even know where she is, but I know she works late at night. There she is. Oh, she's sick. That's okay. I think she's going to give the baby a bath. Oh, my gosh. Nikki has this stinking baby girl out here in the dang middle of a thunderstorm. Nikki, Nikki. Okay, first of all, I need her to use her diaper because that, that's got to be done before we do any of the rest of it. Oh, my gosh. We have 24 hours to pay our bills. Who's standing here that can pay bills? Oh my gosh, our bills are $19,000. We're going to have almost no money left. Little Katie is missing school. Katie is on her way. Somebody died this morning. Katie, go to school. She was supposed to already be at school. Lizette, pick a number one to two. The answer is two. This is absolute chaos. Lizette wants to choose a tough assignment. All right, hopefully the death is going to happen eventually so I can bring her back, but I don't know what's going on. Let me see. I need somebody who's here during the day that I can be on. Nikki, should she miss work? Pick a number one to two. The answer is one. Okay, Nikki is going to miss work. All right, I know when I reset a newbie, well, Grim is still moving. Maybe I'll reset Grim. Okay, so now let's see what Grimm's going to do. There we go. Okay, great. Okay, add ghost to the household. Okay, so here is Anuvi as a ghost. Okay, so Anuvi is here in our house as a ghost. And then what's going to happen, I'll move her urn in here. What's going to happen is the very first thing we rolled, which was for Electra to make the Ambrosia, she's going to work on that. 
and bring Anuvi back to life. Okay, and then I am just going to have to monitor the teens in this house. Well, not Phil, because Phil seems to be getting yellow like it should. And then when Lynn gets home from school, which is, I'm just going to fast forward it until she gets home from school since I can't really do anything. I'm going to go to the Copperdale or wherever the teen, teen world is. I think it's called Copperdale. We're going to go to the thrift store. Uh-oh, Shona, pick a number one to two. It's two. She's going to calm the customer down. An irate customer contact Shona demanding satisfaction, demanding a refund on her new smartphone. So she's going to calm her down. Oh, no, cats. Pick a number one to two. That would be two. Okay, her classmates assign a group project. Is she going to contribute? No, she's going to let them do it. Okay, just a, an earthquake. Oh, gosh. Katie's got the same thing. Pick a number one to two. The answer is one. Okay, Katie's going to actually contribute. I think we it's just an earthquake. I don't see anything falling from the sky. Okay, great. Oh, no, something did way down here. Please don't start a fire. I don't see any more. Do I see another one? Yes, over here. Um, so these will never, ever hit you or anything on your property, actually. But they will start fires. So when Lynn gets home from school, let's have her break this open. Also, I learned a little tip. If you don't break them open really quickly, not really quickly, but within a certain period of time, they disappear. However, you can make them decorative. Hold on, Allie. Pick a number one to two. It's one. Yes, she's squeamish. You can make them decorative and then they don't go away, but you can. Oh my gosh, I thought somebody was dying. Look at the mold spores. You can make them, see now that they're decorative, they don't go anywhere and you can actually still break them open and get out whatever's inside. So if you make them decorative and then later you want to break them open, that is a better idea than just leaving them here. We do have two more trash cans out here that have apparently been knocked over by somebody. Anyway, this was supposed to be a really funny and awkward video where Lynn had to flirt with everybody that she came in contact with, and instead two people died, and we haven't even been able to play with Lynn because I couldn't go to school with them, with the teenagers. Oh my gosh, there's so many things out here. I can dig, I can fish, I can harvest things. I just want to play the actual Sims, which is not what I'm here for. I am going to let Lynn break open this when she gets home. She really needs to have some fun. Okay, it's 3 o'clock. They should all be coming home soon. Let's do a quick teenage food check on everybody. Anuvi can't die twice, so I'm not even worried about hers. And I don't want the babies to get taken away. I'm going to, oh, yeah, I'm going to cheat their food up a little bit. But the rest of it, they can handle the rest of it. Okay, Lynn is home, and we are immediately leaving as soon as she, do not walk in the house. Just go over here. Break this thing open and let's go. It's not raining. You don't need to open an umbrella. Look at the kitty. Aw, Kipper the Stray. We can do an introduction. Okay, she got some stuff from inside it. Oh my gosh, this cat is yelling so much. Okay, we're going to not make friends with the cat. We're leaving. Oh my gosh, somebody's flying a kite over there. I've never seen that. Okay, we're going to the library. I don't think I've ever gone to the library because I always have the other option. We're going to bring, are there any other teenagers that she knows that she doesn't live with? No, those are not teenagers. So, okay, here we go. And then she just has to flirt with everybody she talks to. So we're going to stay here. We're going to eat here. The only thing I think she can't do, well, I bet there's a place to even take a nap. So we'll sleep here for a little while too. We're not going back home till midnight is what I'm saying. Okay, so there's not a thunderstorm here, but it is snowing. Um, I see like a large chair right there. What about upstairs? Oh yeah, there's a nice couch up here. Wait, is this a teenager? I hope not because look how... Nope, that's the librarian who is a young adult and this is also an adult. How are there so many adults here? Girl, come out here and nap on this booth for a minute. Oh, you know what? Come nap on this couch. It's got to be more comfy up here on this couch. And then we'll kick one of these old people off this computer. Well, never mind. The librarian already got up. Wouldn't you feel super awkward? Oh, wait. Somebody got a promotion. Who? 
Oh, Lily got promoted to locker room attendant. Okay, we have more adults in this place. Okay, let's go over here and play a game, though. Let's play incredible sports. We need to get our fun up. Okay, we have a non-adult, but of course it's a child. And another child. Oh, Shona got promoted to quality assurance. Everybody needs to keep getting promoted because those dang bills are about to kill us. I guess I didn't have time to pay bills. I'm going to tell Lynn to pay them when she wakes up. Okay, here's what we're going to do. At 6 o'clock, Lynn is trying to go to sleep. But we are going to make a study group with just teenagers. We're going to call it a study group, but we know that Lynn is in it for the flirting. So, teenagers only. And we have to be romantic to other people in the study club. Also, be friendly to everybody in the study club. Okay, now let's add some teen members that do not live with us. Okay, I literally just added the first five people that don't live in our house. So we have Carlton, Caroline, Devontae, Evie, and Harley. Our club hangout is going to be right here at, well, at any library. There we go. Because they have to pretend like they're studying. Congratulations, you made the club. Let's start gathering right now. I'm going to let her sleep till people show up at our club gathering. No, she did not make a study club just so she could flirt with people. Okay, Evie Delgado is first. It will not let her flirt. Lynn is too sad to be romantic. You're not sad. She lives in your house. What are you sad about, though? From having a mood swing. Lynn, no. Let's go. Um, let's play chess. Wait, what? Who's up here? Who are you? Adult? Young adult. Okay. Let's play... Oh, she already knows Carlton Goth? Okay. I don't know how that happened, but... I need her to be something other than sad, so I'm trying to get her, like, super focused or whatever. He's one of her club members. Let's see. Oh, we can romance. Oh, we can give a gloomy compliment. I feel like every conversation has to go in a flirty direction. I need you to get away, woman. He was like, oh, no, I do not. I'm here to actually study, lady. Okay, let's go down here and, like, wash our hands a couple of times and brush our teeth because she is uh, real stinky right now. Okay, wow, that brought her hygiene up a lot, brushing her teeth and washing herself. Okay, great. She's still really tired, but... Here's her other club members. Let's go out here. Devante. We can literally just give a gloomy compliment because she's still so... <gasps> what if we all... Can we cloud gaze together? Okay, no. Go here together. Everybody in our club. Let's go over here. Okay, I've told her to cloud gaze or stargaze with everybody. I'm hoping that they'll all do that. Oh, she has a crush on Carlton. Well, I'm sorry about it. You got a lot of... Oh, is she... That's not making her. I was trying to make her like, oh my gosh, he just gave him a rose. They're being super flirty with people in their group. But nobody's being flirty with Lynn. It's hard to see other couples together when you don't have anyone special in your life. She's jealous of them. But her fun is going up. Now let's see if she can flirt. Nope. She's still too sad. Now she's even more sad because of them. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm just going to tell her to stargaze by herself. And maybe she'll get inspired. Oh, she's stargazing with him. Okay, good. Ah, uh, girl, come on now. Where is she going? Oh, she's just too tired. Lynn, this has been an absolute nightmare. She cannot do any kind of romance. A flirt with everybody you meet does not work if everybody in your house dies. And then you're a teenager going through a mood swing. <laughs> okay, well, that sucks. She's going home. I'm putting her to bed. The end. I mean, I don't know why her club members couldn't come back to her house with her. That's fine. I know I started out um, this with having issues because there's so many people in the house. Not not this particular uh, episode, but mostly all the episodes in general. So maybe I do a, why are so many of everybody standing outside the house? I do not understand. Okay, Lynn is going to come in and go to bed. That is all that we are worried about right now is getting Lynn in the bed and checking the food levels. Oh, let's let her dramatically cry about life before she goes to bed. Cats is in the red, so she will eat. We don't have to deal with that. Lizette must have eaten. Oh, Katie's is yellow. 
So is Lindsay's. And Anuvi's is red, which she should handle herself, even though it looks like she's not really going to because she's on the treadmill. But we will see what happens. Let me check this hallway. Oh, they're not as green as they were before. It just says tox. Oh, no, toxic is what it was before. Allergenic is the other one. Okay, but they don't have like the big green spores on them. Or maybe they just haven't spawned in yet. Anyway, Lynn is going to go upstairs and cry about life and go to bed. But here's what I want to know from y'all. I'm not going to be filming this for a while. I did it while I was gone these last, the last little bit here. So that I could um, have something fun to play and get it prepped before I left. So... I have not filmed any of these since I filmed the first one and I'm not going to right now. I want y'all to let me know what you think. Like, should I do a house that only has like three people in it at the beginning? I feel like it is too much with 20 people, now 22, that we have Demi and Trace. But also at the same time, I mean, it's definitely chaos, which is what we are hoping for. This girl is about to pass out, so she can't dramatically cry about life. Why is she going back downstairs to pass out? Oh my gosh, Cynthia. Pick a number one to two. The answer is two. No, you're not squeamish. Also, like all of the other stuff that I did, um, like I put all of the bad traits or whatever for the place on there. I, I like it. But at the same time, like, this house is too big for everything to be broken. And then me try to get everything fixed and everything cleaned up and all the mold picked up and all the rest of that stuff. That's just not going to happen in such a large space. Especially when I usually have to spend all my time trying to figure out what the person I'm playing needs to do. So... I would like to just hear your thoughts on how this can be improved upon. I really like using the sim selves that you guys created because I know y'all and we chat on uh, Discord and in the comments. And so I just love it being people that I know. I feel like I know. But um, if you think like how I can do it better or something like that, I would love to hear about it. Jude, I hope he gets a like painting. Pick a number one to two. The answer is one. Yay. Jude likes painting. No, no. Oh, yeah. She was dramatically crying about life, and now she's going to sleep. So, it is midnight. That is the end of this. Let me know your thoughts down below. Like I said, I'm sure that you guys have given me great comments up to now, because, um, but I haven't seen any of them because I'm pre-filming all of these before I go on vacation. So, I still want to hear your thoughts and what all needs to be done in this chaos nonsense or we just keep it like it is and if people die like I'll bring a newbie back to life and then I can just move her out of the house like she lost she moves out and we keep going until we have a more manageable number of people in the house or y'all help me come up with some kind of way that we remove the lot traits the negative lot traits because there's like 11 of them and Anything else that y'all can think of that we might want to add into here or add on to this and I will do it. That is it for this video. Everything should be back to normal next week. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in the next video. Bye.